All right, you're working away on your song in Pro Tools, and then you realize you need to change the tempo, but you're not quite sure how to do it. Never fear, I'm here to help you. So if you quickly need to change the tempo of your Pro Tools session, it is up here. If you can't see this, if you can't see this tempo timeline, you just need to click here and you can click the tick beside tempo, it disappears, or you can bring it back. Same with all of the other timelines above, bars, beats, time code, whatnot. If you want to change the tempo, click in here on this red button. And the default is 120, so you can change it to whatever you want. So let's say you want to change it to 60. So let's change the BPM beats per minute from 120 down to 60. You will notice that when I did that, if I flip back, just take a look at my MIDI tracks down here and I'll flip to grid mode just so you can see this is grid mode as in you can see the various bars and beats on the grid. Here, all of my MIDI is at 120 beats per minute. And when I go back to, I'll do it again just to show you, when I go back to 60 beats per minute, it changes. If you've got MIDI tracks in your session and they're not printed to audio, they will change once you change the BPM. That can be very advantageous. You will notice that this printed audio, recorded audio does not change. That's because as I said, this is printed. It has been captured from an external source, in this case, a microphone and you don't have that flexibility to automatically change the BPM of the audio unless you change the whole session to ticks and move it that way. But if you're changing from 120 to 60 BPM, that's gonna create an awful lot of garbled audio, so you're best to re-record. If you're changing the BPM by one or two, you can use Elastic Audio to change the BPM of the whole session, but that falls outside the scope of this video. Now, if you can't change the tempo up here, if for some reason it's not working, come into your transport window, that is the command key plus one on the numerical keypad. And most likely this conductor is unticked. So when you do that, you can't click in and change the tempo. It's very frustrating. So you gotta go back in. Now you can change the tempo to whatever you want. That was at one stage the bane of my life. Hope it's not for yours. While we're in here, if you're getting a recording and you're constantly getting a two bar lead in, or you wanna have a two bar lead in, this is your count off here. So if you kick that off as it is now, you get no lead into recording. You don't get that two bar lead in. If you click it on, you get a two bar lead in. You can also change this from two bars to one bar, four bars, three bars, whatever you want. Now, if you're feeling outrageous and you wanna change the tempo in the middle of your song, all you need to do is come up here and control click on the timeline and you can change the BPM to whatever you want at that point. So let's say we go from 60 to double time 120. There you go. Now you see the MIDI changed again. So here are all your MIDI's in 60 and then it changes to 120. And your click track down here will change from 60 to 120. If you don't know how to create a click track, track, create click track. That's my tongue twister of the day. All right, that's it. How to change the tempo in Pro Tools plus a few bonus tips thrown in for you. Now, if you're relatively new to music production or mixing, or even if you aren't, you want to get better results, faster results, and have your mixes sounding super professional, then I got something for you right now. I got a free guide called The One Hack That Guarantees a Unique Pro Sounding Mix. And what that guide is all about is using reference mixes. These are mixes done by professionals that are released, that people like. Taking these as examples, as references, that you can use in all of your mixes to get a similar sound to what the professionals have already tested and they know it works. This is where a lot of people go wrong. They might have a great song, but they don't have that polished professional mix. I don't want that for you and I want to save you a lot of time. If you download this guide, apply what's in it, your mixes are going to sound much better instantly. I absolutely guarantee it. So please go to getpromixes.com, download the guide, read it, apply everything that's in it, and your mixes are going to sound better than ever. So that's it. Have fun with all the Pro Tools tempo stuff. If this helped you, drop a like, leave a comment down below, let me know if it did help you. And if you really liked it, subscribe. I've got a whole lot more for you coming very, very soon. And in the meantime, have fun making great music.